you'll see an entry level cybersecurity job and they'll have the CISSP as a requirement. Oh my God. And, I've seen and so many think, of these. It's like, what? And you think to yourself like, look, man, even if I wasn't, even if I looked at it and said like, Hey, the not that knowledge is maybe entry level to you. Cause you're that, that's so you're so cool in organization. Even if I had tried to give you that bone, it's still not entry level. You have to have five years of professional experience to get it. To even hold the certification. You can't, yeah. you can't just get that with one year of experience, take it, pass it. You can get a hundred percent on the test, pass it. 100%. You could be wicked sharp. Yeah. You could be there's, wicked there's sharp, totally advanced. You're still, still, still not going to carry it. There's still years yeah. requirements to make sure you meet the requirements to hold the certification. Yeah, and, and I literally see stuff like that. So I look at that and I think, man, we didn't, we don't have a, a negative employment, you know, unemployment problem. What we have C is CSSP three SAN certifications. So you want me to have over $30,000 worth of personally yes. funded certifications to make this entry level job, making 85 to 70, like to 85 to 75. Yes. Days. Yeah. You're out of your mind. So the few people that can meet the requirements. So this gets into why I don't believe the negative unemployment rate.